Keith. I've got a million ideas for videos. Could spend them making them all day, but not enough hours in a day to make them. But I've got a good video for you. If you're fairly new in this business, and maybe it's hard for you to keep a full schedule, and you're biting your nails, and you need money, and you need jobs, and the phone isn't ringing. Um, I can relate to all that stuff in, in the beginning. That's when you spend all that time running around hustling and passing out business cards and posting Craigslist ads and putting ads in the newspaper and placing Google ads, Google AdWords works, all that type of stuff, and building up a clientele. But it gets to a point where, and this is my point of the video, something happens, there's a switch that gets flipped where you're not stressed out anymore. Some people might call it faith, but if let's just say our schedule is not packed and there's no jobs lined up you don't even worry about it because you've been in that scenario so many times and you know that the next wave of work is gonna come and smash and just hit you and you're gonna be swamped again and that's what I want to talk about I remember calling Eric Reno my buddy up dude there's no fucking work what am I gonna do He's like, just chill out, man. I'm like, what do you mean chill? He's like, it's just a little dry spot and you're gonna get swamped. And then you're gonna regret stressing out in the dry spot instead of, you know, relaxing and, you know, looking at and strategizing, right? And then the next thing you know, you get swamped up to your eyeballs and you're like, oh, I don't even have time to wipe my ass, right? And then, you know, a month later, Eric calls me up and he's like, dude, we have no work right now. I don't know what to do, what's going on. There's, we only booked out till Tuesday and I got all these guys counting on me. I'm like, dude, chill out. You're going to be swamped again. And you're going to, you know, you get what I'm saying, right? And that's the way it always works. Like, it's like the nature of the universe. When you have a certain momentum going, kind of like a spinning wheel that keeps spinning, even though it's no longer being propelled. Uh, if you're going on a bike and you're going 15 miles per hour, you stop pedaling. You don't just all of a sudden stop. You've still got the, all this momentum driving you forward. There are laws in physics at play of the universe, man, that we cannot, well, we can explain them now, but you can't see them. It's very the elusive obvious. And there's so many of these physics at play and habits that are at play and things that are coming into play that we can't see. And I really believe that your beliefs when you change the way you see things, the things you see literally change. Let me say it again. When you change the way you see things, the things you see change. It's so crazy how much perspective plays a role in all this. Uh, we did a landscape job today. I underquoted it a bit and it turned because it turned it out turned out to be more work than we thought. We dug up. Fuck, just extra work. And I'm like, oh, I was having anxiety. And I realized, you know what? And I want you to realize, in all these situations, say, I'm gonna get through this. Why? Because I'm the type of person who gets through this stuff. And then you can count all the scenarios in your life and in your new small business where you've gotten through it. Why? Because you're the type of boss that gets through that shit, right? And learn the lesson. That next time you're walking on a quote with a bright, I just totally changed subjects. <laughs> I've got so much to say. <laughs> Sorry, it's the ADD kicking in, my friend. But then the next time you're walking around a property with a customer, you don't just go, you know, 200 bucks. You stop and you go, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Let me grab a shovel and stick it in the ground in front of the customer. Like, I gave a customer a quote uh, this morning. Uh, we call it the West Side. He bought a new house, he had a pool and tons of work and need to rip out all around it. And he said, I need all these rocks removed around this pool, we're doing all this, this and this. And right in front of him, I start digging my heel in to the ground for like 30 seconds straight. And he's like, you know, what's he doing? I'm trying to see how fucking deep these rocks go, motherfucker. And I was thinking 1600 bucks. I dig a little deeper, I go 2600 bucks. Because I know. Because I've been there, and I, and I know that you've been there. And when you're dripping in sweat and anxiety, losing money, tripping over your feet, having a panic attack, because 
you know, you messed up again. It's, I mean, these, these, running your own small fucking business. I know I'm cussing a lot. I can't help it, right? But you running your own small business compared to when I went to college is, is you can't hold a candle to it. There's no better education than real life, real world education out there, dripping in sweat, busting your ass, having anxiety and learning stuff. And you're always reaching up to the next level. You're always about in, in kind of having anxiousness about the next thing that you're not you don't have or you're not at yet but think about the things we take for granted that we're able to just do right that other people wish that you know they could be at that level or something just in comparison right and I really believe that the power of I'll just say here when you when you rush I see this very clearly now like the clock is ticking on your ass at all times I mean dude it's it's literally going on one o'clock in the morning and I'm just now getting home from the office uh, it's springtime but when you rush and you feel that sense of anxiousness you like literally push time against you and it starts folding in on itself that's when you're forgetting tools you're driving back multiple times to the hardware store because you forgot something you're you, you become frantic and now your head is up your ass I've been there too and only by staying and controlling, I take this energy, it gets up in your head, you become heady like this. Take that energy and push it back down into your body and breathe and force yourself to have a warrior mentality and say, cool, calm, collected, composed, stay composed. And then you can force yourself to think more clearly when you're in the chaos of your business. It's just like, fuck. Because there's so much to do at once, you can't even physically do it all. You're wearing like 50 different hats. You're wearing this hat, then you're wearing this hat, then you're wearing this hat, then you're wearing this hat. And you try to tell somebody who's a 9 to 5 or somebody in your family, and they don't even understand it. It just sounds like you're, you're bitching or something, right? So, all the shit you go through, it's completely normal, my friend. But I gotta get back in house. My dog's running around here somewhere. Miko. <laughs> Alright. Peace.